guys, it's Dan, your host your Danger Reviews, and today I'm back with another Walking Dead review. Of course, this is going to be my weekly review for this week's episode of The Walking Dead Season 8. This is going to be for The Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 14, which is called Still Gotta Mean Something. So, really, really awesome episode last night. Now, of course, I am on Easter weekend. So I'm actually filming this uh, way earlier than uh, usual. I'm actually filming it at like 9 o'clock. So that is awesome. But um, I really, really can't wait to start talking about this episode because this episode of The Walking Dead, in my opinion, was um, mixed with so much different stuff, I feel like. Um, you had the action, you had the gore, you know, with one character death we'll get into in a minute. Spoiler warning, by the way. Um, and then we have, you know, uh, some comedy mixed in there. We've had, we have some touching moments, mainly, I feel like. Um, and it's just kind of all over the place with this one. But I really think that this episode is a good episode 14 for season 8. Because, in my opinion, season 8 is one of the best seasons they've done for Walking Dead. No matter what anybody says, I think season 8 is one of the strongest seasons they've done. And I really just can't wait to see these last two episodes of the season. But... This episode was great. I really thought this one was amazing. So again, spoiler warning before we get into it. So, um, we start off the episode with a flashback sequence of how Jadis um, was, you know, how, what happened when Simon was killing everybody. We actually got a confirmation that they thought that they killed Jadis too. So, uh, they were trying to kill Jadis as well. So, then we have some kind of, like, what the heck moment where she walks into this, like, this, like, I don't even know, like, the, you know, one of the storage containers, I think, and there's a bed, there's all this stuff, and it's just weird, um, and all of a sudden, you see her grab Lucille, go to Negan, and, you know, Negan, you know, he's just, he's confused, he's so confused about the situation, and as she's dragging him out, you know, so, um, that was the intro, and I really like the intro a lot, so, then we've got the scenes with, uh, Ezekiel and Carol, and kind of like, I thought you were the bravest person I met. No, that's, that's, you know, that, that's cowardice or whatever. So, um, he, you know, kind of convinces her to go out there. Um, when Morgan says, I'm going to go out there, she's like, well, I'm coming too. So, um, that's cool stuff right there. So, then we've got, uh, Rosita and Daryl talking about how they have Eugene, and they should probably do something about that, because Eugene is a huge advantage to the saviors at this time. And like we see at the end of the episode, they're actually at the bullet factory and they're actually probably ready to take out some of the saviors and confront Yuji. So um, that's next episode, it looks like. And I'm really excited to see what's going to happen there. We didn't see too much of it, but obviously them two will probably play a huge part in the next episode. So moving on, we've got uh, some really cool scenes. Now, again, this, you know, I try to kind of think to myself, you know, why um, Rick hasn't read Carl's letter yet. And we have the scene between him and uh, Michonne. She's trying to get him not to go. Of course he goes anyway. But he ne didn't even read the letter yet until the end of the episode. So we'll have to see in episode 15 um, what that letter actually says to not kill Negan. Does it say something else? Uh, you know, just just what is it that um, that is you know wrote on, that he wrote on that uh, you know piece of paper there? So I'm really excited to see that. I'm, I'm actually yeah I am because I'm really excited to see uh, if it relates to Rick not killing Negan because that that would be a huge step in episode 15 to hear that on the you know the paper. So um, hopefully hopefully I'm really hoping and again I'm not too sure if we'll get this or not but I'm really hoping that we will get, like, a, an over, uh, like, you know, the letter, and we'll hear Carl's voice talking to Rick. Um, I'm really hoping that that's what we, we hear in episode 15. Hopefully we don't just see what is, you know, written there. I want to actually hear Carl. So maybe if we're lucky, we could get that. So then we've got uh, Rick who decides, you know, I'm going to go out there too. Um, the guy, of course, the main, you know, savior, nice guy, prisoner guy. He, they're not even prisoners anymore. He's, he's like, allowed to walk around now. Uh, which, I mean, yeah, come on. He had the option to leave so many times, and he didn't. So, I mean, I think that's, you know, he he really should be allowed outside of the uh, pen. So, uh, we already told Maggie everything, so tell me. And uh, he asks him, don't kill as many as you have to. And, well, he kills everybody. So, he kind of feels partially responsible, and that's when they get, when they get back to the hilltop at the end of the episode, he kind of, like, he's like, oh, 
you know, yeah, that's right. I made the guy the promise, you know, cause he looks at him too. So, um, but I'm sure the guy would probably understand now, you know, you know, you know, this, you know, call me weird, whatever you want, but seriously, what Morgan and Rick did, that's, that's a little far. That's a little far what they did. Cause, um, you know, you have basically, aside from, uh, Jared, the rest of the saviors are really, they're, they're kind of surrendering and they're not really in the mood to fight. And they're actually joining Rick and the others. I'm sorry, but what Rick and Morgan did, I can't, I just, I can't. I can't accept that because it was a little like, um, you know, have, you could say because they captured them, you can't trust them, but it was Jared that captured them anyway. He was the leader. He's killed off now. These guys are all right, you know, but especially because Rick and Morgan are literally in front of them killing zombies and the saviors are behind them helping them out. I mean, seriously, you know, if they, you know, if they really wanted to kill Rick and Morgan, they, they had the chance, you know, so that's one thing I can't understand Rick and Morgan's uh, logic there, but maybe they just want to get rid of them. That's probably what they're trying to do. But I still just, I can't, I can't, I just, I can't with that. So we've kind of got um, Morgan and Rick who they meet up after a little bit and Morgan's having like one of his little snacks. I did like when he saw the kid though, when he saw um, Henry from the kingdom, that was amazing because they tricked the audience as well. Not that, that's the one thing I really kind of, I was like, Oh, wow. Well, they kind of tricked us as well, you know? So, um, that was really, really cool. Um, so moving on, we've got, um, the scenes where basically they're, you know, they're out there. Rick's like, you know me, Morgan, you know me, you know, and he's kind of, you know, he's snapping or whatever. So then of course they, um, you know, they're kind of following this trail or something. They see a, a leg and and a hand, and then they turn around, and boom, you know, they get, uh, they get knocked out, so then it goes to commercials, we don't even know who it was, and I was sitting there the whole time, like, what the heck, you know, but as I was kind of thinking throughout the commercials, because, like, at first, I'm like, who would that be, and I was like, well, I guess I'll see, but then right before it came on, I was like, oh, wait, the prisoners, yeah, that's right, duh, you know, um, yeah, the prisoners, and it ended up actually, yes, being the, uh, the prisoners that were, you know, at Hilltop originally, so, oh, so, anyway, so Rick, um, gives them their word, and he says, you know, you can come back with us, you know, everything's okay, it's not too late for you, and the, Jared just doesn't, just, oh, Jared, you know, so, um, yeah, Jared, man, so, Anyway, so then um, all of a sudden they're killing these walkers. They untied them. They're killing the walkers. Then when they're done killing the walkers, like I said, the stupidest move ever, but they did that anyway, and they kill off the saviors, um, which was a really exciting sequence. Then you see Jared run off, and of course Morgan just, just closes the gate, and you see a brutal death for, um, you know, Jared. So I really thought, though, you know, he was probably one of my least favorite characters in the Walking Dead television series, and I'm so happy to see that he's gone because I just... Now, he's, he's actually a pretty nice guy, you know, like on Talking Dead, uh, Chris Harvey's he's actually a pretty nice guy in person, but, you know, and you know, because he was on Talking Dead, but either way, man, that dude was just, ugh, you know, like seriously, he was one of those, you know, ugh, you know, so I hate that guy, you know, so that kind of thing, so, I mean, he did a good job, because, you know, he did a good job making the fans hate him, that's one thing, so, um, then we have the scenes with Carol, where she actually finds Henry again, uh, and it's kind of a happy ending, you know, Morgan and Rick, they get back to Hilltop, you know, they have everything else, um, you know, and I, I kind of did think it was kind of a crazy part where Rick was like, why did you save me, and he was like, because my son was there, you know, that was actually, I did not, I, I thought he actually generally wanted to save him. But it turns out that no, actually, if it wasn't for Dwayne, Morgan wouldn't have done anything. So, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we kind of got the truth out of Morgan after all these years. So, yeah, so that was kind of crazy as well. So, everything there was just amazing and really happy ending there whenever, we get, uh, when, you know, when everybody got back to the hilltop. So, all we've got here basically to end this uh, review is the stuff with Negan. So uh, we've got Negan who is, um, you know, he's he's tied up and how did he get a gun? Seriously, how did he get a gun? Like, and he's like pointing the gun, he's untied slightly. I'm like, what the heck? How is this happening, you know? And uh, Jadis kind of goes to burn Lucille, but she doesn't because Negan says that's the only part of my wife I've left. So we did get some more Here's Negan uh, clues. 
in this episode as well. So I really enjoyed that as well. So Negan escapes. His offer still stands to have Jadis join him, and she doesn't. So also, what the heck was up with the helicopter? Seriously, um, there's something here that they're hiding from Jadis. There's got to be something here. Helicopter pad. Now there's actually a helicopter. Is it, sa is it the same one Rick saw? You know, it pro probably um, is it from the Commonwealth. It's just, does Jadis know the Commonwealth group? You know, is she an outpost for it or something? Who even knows at this point, really? Because were they actually garbage people or were, or were they an outpost for this commonwealth? Just saying. Because um, somehow she's like, you know, I'm right here, you know, so I don't even know at this point. How'd she get, you know, the clean clothes? It's just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of a big mystery. Something they're doing with... Janus is hiding something. That's all there is to it. So, um, anyway, so then Negan gets back and he left somebody in the car and, you know, it's kind of a mystery. I think it's Laura, and the reason why I'm saying that, I do, I'm going to predict that she's coming back in episode 15, because why would Negan be sitting there looking at Dwight like that, ready to just, you know, seriously, in the in the promo of next week's episode, that's got to be Laura, um, and she's obviously going to rat him out too, so, um, yeah, Laura, yeah, definitely it's got to be Laura, because, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's kind of, you know, it makes sense, so Negan's like, there are a lot of changes that are about to happen, so anyway, just... Overall thoughts about episode 14, I absolutely loved it. I liked it way more than last week. Nothing against last week. I just thought, you know, the second half of it was a little slow and dry. But really enjoyed this episode of Walking Dead. Really thought that this one was just fantastic. And I can't wait to see the last two episodes. Two episodes left, though. So anyway, guys. But then we're on to the amazing Fear Season 4. So anyway, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this season. Uh, you know, all, all these 14 reviews. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.